shit if you want to get it you get it listen ain't nobody putting that in my motherfucking body we can go shopping did you hear what he said you can get it if you want listen and i'm i'm, I'm all for that i'm all for freedom of conscience as well so burden world i get you you can get whatever you want. You can make decision for your family, for your body, and choose to believe whatever you want to believe as an individual. But you cannot enforce that on me and my family, and especially not my children. Hello friends, welcome to Look and Live. You are now here with Pastor James Devalon, and this is another reaction video. Friends, we are going to react today to the song that you guys have recommended over and over again. Call It Even by Burden World and St. Macy's. St. Macy's. <laughs> anyway, Macy's. Mises, Mises, Yeses, right? Let's get it right. So we're gonna pause and have a quick commercial break, and after that, we're gonna react to this uh, new video that was just released just a couple of days ago by uh, Burden World and Saint Mesis. Please stay tuned. Okay, friends, welcome back to Look and Live. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe to the page. Click the bell icon to be notified for my upcoming videos. Comment below. I got some videos below, and I'm also gonna post um, at the end of this video. I'm gonna put a link for our reaction videos to all Tom's McDonald's videos and also uh, my general reaction of different artists because I noticed in the comment a lot of you are asking me to react to certain artists that I've already reacted to you asked me to react to this song and that song and I'm like I already did so I'm guessing you guys are not either checking out the rest of the playlist that we have going on here in look and live so I would ask you to please do that first and check out what we have so that you can understand what's been going on in this channel here with these reaction videos guys I don't want to waste any more time I want to get to the heart of this message so call it even by Macy's and Baron world released just a couple of days ago it's been recommended in the chat room in the comment below over and over again so guess what guys it is time to react to this thing so I noticed very quickly at the beginning of this video there is a disclaimer which tells us very quickly um, whatever's in there you gotta be careful how you use that how you respond to that and your decision is your own and they all make sure that you know that they are not they are not medical providers and they do understand as artists they are just uh putting out their views out there so however you go about responding to that and decisions that you make it is our own responsibility and by the way i really appreciate this because uh, if you don't like what's in there well just don't watch it just don't react to it or don't speak about it right and i like that all right let's move on let's hear what they have to say today mesa's x burden call it even let's get to the heart of the message so, boy, try, give me that shot you'll get shot call it even boy try give me that shot you'll get shot call it even boy try give me that shot you'll get shot call it even boy try give me that shot Boy, try give me that shot. Boy, try give me that. I don't know what you mistook this for. Gave you an inch, then you took a foot more. Told us two weeks where a mess stay home. Like saying take a shot, no, we can't make dope. This America, we don't play that joke. I know you kind of slow, let me say this slow. You could stick that back, sing in your fucking ass. You ain't the only one out here losing your patience. 100 million people out here losing their patience. I gotta tell you, one thing I love about Mace is though, he's not afraid of speaking his mind, <laughs> even when you may not always like the way he kind of like verbalized that. Um, it is what it is. The man is telling you how he feels about these man made laws, mandates, and how some are going about, you know, taking a mile when you give them an inch. And they're coming to a point where they're saying, enough with that mess, man. So we're going to call it even. And there's also a stand there, too, with the background with the, the guns that are behind him. This is actually a very uh, loud statement. Um, don't mess with us. Don't mess with our laws. Don't mess with our rights. And as people, um, we refuse to bow down to your man-made laws. Um, we are tired of that. So this is the spirit of revolution we're talking about here. It's also the spirit of patriotism as well, you know, for those of you who love your country and you know what this country represents as a, as an asylum of freedom, you're going to stand like that and speak that way. I take, I take a similar stand, but not the way that they do. But again, 
who am I to judge or condemn? Because at the end of the day, they have to express their view in the best way that they know how. For that in itself, I appreciate it. I don't give a damn what the FDA says. Big Pharma got them in their pocket like latex. Bunch of rich folks. You see? You see? That's what I'm talking about. This is the same message. This is a very similar message to the one that Tom McDonald, Adam Calhoun, Struggle Jennings, and Rockefeller, Nova Rockefeller, their new song, right? They were talking about how they don't trust the news from, you know, government or pharma. We just want the life that was promised to us by our fathers. And the same principle is kind of like being outlining here. So what's happening is in the heart of many Americans, including these artists, they feel like their trust in many of these systems has been betrayed. They feel like I'm tr I trusted you guys to make the right decisions. And you broke my heart. You, you broke my heart. You had ulterior motives the whole time. You told me there was an issue, but you used the problem, the so-called issue, as a mean to control and strip us of our freedom. This is the spirit of revolution going saying, we are tired of this nonsense. Push your paws like they play chess. And Biden thinking God, Lord knows what to say next. Norbert Cole says I ain't got to say yes. So fuck what your mandate says, bitch. See, I told you, they're just tired of this. How could you be mad at that? Because I personally am tired of it as well. I express similar anger in a different way, of course. Norbert Cole says I ain't got to say yes. So fuck what your mandate says. Give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. So, boy, try, give me that shot, you get shot. Call it even. Have mercy. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot. Boy, try, give me that shot. Boy, try, give me that. Boy, try, give me that shot. You'll get. By the way, the video is awesome. Well done. The way this shot is absolutely beautiful. Watch out for the guns, by the way. That's why you need to read that disclaimer before you start making your judgments. They did tell you. Did you hear what he said? You can get it if you want. Listen, and I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for freedom of conscience as well. So burden world, I get you. You can get whatever you want. You can make decisions for your family, for your body, and choose to believe whatever you want to believe as an individual. But you cannot enforce that on me and my family, and especially not my children. You better stay away from them. So the point is, don't put that stuff in my body. And I do agree with that, because I don't call people who say, okay, I'm going to go along with the main date and accept the jab for whatever the purpose may be. That's fine. That's on you. And you have the right to do that as in a free world in America, in this, in this country. We value our differences. Uh, but the issue that I have a problem with, very similar to what he's saying here, don't come and try to enforce that on me. I have a different perspective on this matter. Okay, my trust and confidence in those systems is not maybe not as solid as yours is. Um, and as a result, I choose not to do that. And again, I have many other reasons. I have religious reasons for not doing this. I have um, I have re health reasons for not doing it as well. And I have a moral reason for not doing it. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean I'm opposed government completely or the mandate or medical experts. No, there's some shady stuff going on at the same time. My confidence is not as strong in them as it used to be. I'm not mad at what they're saying. It makes a lot of sense to me. Get the shit if you wanna get it, you get it. Listen, ain't nobody putting that in my motherfucking body. We yeah. go shot for shot. I go first, but you better bring a hearse, cause I brought a 12 gauge shot. Y'all will never chat me. <laughs> Watch it. Getting close. You gon' need a motherfucking sniper right for shooting vaccines. Lord, please forgive me, cause the shit had to get nasty. Either I'ma make a blast me. Or it's suicide, something that you apply for. If you really think that I'ma be the one that you force. I don't give a fuck if Donald Trump got every single one. I bet the house that he loses support. Fuck Johnson and Johnson, Moderna and Pfizer. Fuck Voucher, you fraudulent communist liar. Uh-oh. He just called him out. Did you see my recent video that I uploaded about um, Pfizer's uh, record um, data that was that data that was released by the governor? I mean, by the judge. Um, not willingly, of course. And what those side effects 
that were at lines in this data, I can understand why a lot of people feel the way they do. Yeah. Needs to be fired, chief medical advisor. Why in the fuck would they give you that title? Yeah, let's go back to that one. I want to hear that again. support. Fuck Johnson and Johnson, Moderna and Pfizer. Fuck Fauci, you fraudulent communist liar. Fauci. So, Dr. Fauci got the F-bomb. He's called a communist. <laughs> I gotta hear it again. Support. Fuck Johnson and Johnson, Moderna and Pfizer. Fuck Fauci, you fraudulent communist liar. Needs to be fired. You Fauci and communist liar. There is, um, there is a narrative out there concerning Dr. Fauci that all. Uh, it seems to make a lot of sense, you know. It seems like the story doesn't line up. The evidence seems to suggest that he might have been to something, you know. Whether he knew what the end results would be, but why would you be funding something outside of the United States that could potentially create a problem such as how we have today? And there's another notion that says, the jab, you know, pestilence 19 inoculation has been around before there was the actual virus itself, which tells me then, could it possibly be it was a pandemic? It was a man-made cause to carry out somebody else's insidious agenda that can't neglect that before you call it conspiracy theories and kind of stuff you know like we like to do we like to label everything that we don't agree with as conspiracy theories anything that is opposite to the general narrative is conspiracy theory but sometimes those conspiracy so-called theories that we like to style them might be the truth chief medical advisor why in the fuck would they give you that title don't try give me that shot you'll get shot call it even boy try give me that shot You'll get shot, call it even, boy, try, give me that shot, you'll get shot, call it even, boy, try, give me that shot, boy, try, give me that shot, boy, try, give me that, boy, try, give me that shot, you'll get shot, huh. call it even, boy, try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Huh. I like these two guys personally because they're not afraid of expressing their views, and I think many uh, conscious rappers do this. Um, I appreciate when they use the platform to bring about you know, reflective discussions such as we're talking about here. Things that need to be talked about oftentimes. People like myself, we don't have the platform nor the voice to do so. It creates a level of, um, I don't know, it helps us to hold certain individuals accountable and responsible. Uh, it helps us to also look at there are many systems that are not trustworthy. And again, Imperfect system, imperfect man, which I understand. We live, we live in a sinful world. I get that. But there is also insidious motives, though. There is also ulterior, ulterior perceptions. You know, there is also a drive for control and power that some of these imperfect people are motivated uh, by. And I have an issue with that, particularly not with individuals. I have an issue with their intent. You know, so. I get it, guys. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, boy. Try, give me that shot, boy. Try, give me that, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot, you'll get shot. Call it even, boy. Try, give me that shot. Mercy. Thank you for that. Powerful, strong, stern, firm. There was a call for to stand against um, abusive power. Um, there was also a call to stand for, I will say, religious freedom, right? Power over my body instead of what is being imposed by me by those who supposedly know everything. <laughs> Which I am not underestimating the fact that there are some who do know what they're doing and they do have the right motives. I do understand that. But there are some that are very 
evil at heart. And we know some of you. So, you see, this is part of the reason why, friends. I, By the way, I really appreciate the content of the song, appreciate the video. You know, unfortunately, we live in a sinful world run by, by sinful men, um, full of uh, imperfect system, imperfect people. Um, really, like, putting our faith and confidence in men is a very dangerous thing to do. But at the same time, we do have to invest a level of trust and confidence. I get sick. I need a doctor. Um, my car is not doing good. I got to trust the mechanic with that. So we, we can't live without each other. But at the same time, there has to be a level of limitation set when it comes to trusting people. And I think if you are skeptic about anything that doesn't seem to make sense, it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to take a, you know, stand on the sideline until everything is clear. Your conscience is clear before you can move forward. Um, and if you have to raise your voice in protest, as they have done here, by all means, we should do that because we have to challenge certain things because not everything man is doing is correct. And we saw what happened with, should I say, pandemic, pandemic. <laughs> anyway, we saw what happened with that. Um, there were a lot of things that were make, making sense. And as soon as things begin to tone down, you can take off your mask, yada, yada. And then boom, a war in Ukraine took place. Boom, inflation went to the roof. It's like, okay, somebody, you keep on playing chess. You got us over here playing checkers. Is that what's happening here? Anyway, I digress. This is the reason why the Bible says, friends, in Psalms 119, verse 109, this is where I take my stand. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet in a light unto my path. The sad reality is we're always going to be disappointed by man-made systems. Always. Because humanity fails humanity. But I found the greatest peace, confidence, and dependency upon the Word of God. As I read, as I study, as I try to follow the principles of Scripture, I find safety into the arms of Jesus. I find in Him a lamp. I find in Him, through His Word, the light. And He claims to be the light of the world in John 8 verse 12. This is a safer position for us as individuals to take rather than to put our full trust and confidence in men. Enough being said. Thank you so much for listening, guys. I appreciate this content. Like and subscribe to the human, to the to the Luke and Luke Luke and I don't even know my page. Luke and Live YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to be notified for upcoming videos. Comment below. More to come. And again, guys, this was absolutely amazing. Saint Macy's and Burden World. Thank you for this message. I got the message. I appreciate the disclaimer in the beginning as well. It made a lot of sense to me. God bless you guys. Thank you for taking uh, listen to this. By the way, register below for the Bible study that is coming soon. This is we have one more week when we're gonna keep this registration up, and after that, I'm gonna take it down. So if you are not in, that means you're not going to be able to join the class then. So um, anyway, um, share this content with somebody else as well. And as always, look unto Jesus and live by faith. Have a good one. Bye.